Looking Back, Inventions and Discoveries That Changed History. We often wonder if things might or could have been different. Would the world be a better place? What are the advantages or disadvantages of different inventions? The Wheel. If the Sumerians hadn't invented the wheel in 5000 BCE, they couldn't have moved heavy loads. 6,000 years later, the Mayans and Incans in the Americas used the round shape in their architecture, but they had no wheels. Airplanes. If the Wright brothers hadn't invented the first successful airplane, people might still be traveling long distances on ships, and there wouldn't be as much contact among people on different continents. The Wright brothers first flew in an engine-propelled plane in 1903. Oil. If people hadn't discovered a lot of sources of oil, cars that run on gasoline wouldn't have become so common. The first commercial oil well drilled in North America was in Oil Springs, Ontario, Canada in 1858. Computers. If we didn't have computers, a lot of work would still be done with paper and pencil, and people in their homes wouldn't be able to be in contact with the entire world. The first PC was introduced by IBM in 1981. Electricity. If electricity hadn't been discovered, people would probably still be using candles or gas lights. Thomas Edison developed the first incandescent electric light bulb in 1879. Penicillin. If Dr. Alexander Fleming hadn't discovered penicillin in 1928, millions of people would have died from infections. However, the widespread use of penicillin as an antibiotic did not begin until the 1940s during World War II. One, if I'd studied harder, I would have passed that test. Two, I should have said what I thought about her hairstyle, but I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Three, I should have bought that thing last year. Now prices have gone up. Four, if I had been more careful, I would have avoided the accident. Five, I should have told the security guard that I saw someone breaking the lock. Six, if I'd known the trip was going to take so long, I would have taken another route. 7. Other afterthoughts? What is your biggest regret? I should have been a more serious student. What would have happened if the Sumerians hadn't invented the wheel? They wouldn't have been able to move heavy loads. What would you have done if you'd seen the thief? I would have called the police immediately. Call one. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to the All Ears Radio Talk Show. 
This is Sam Whitfield, and today we're going to discuss communication problems at the workplace. Now for our first listener, Jay Springfield. Tell us what you regret saying or not saying to your boss. Well, my boss had asked me to do a number of things, most of which required going to official services, waiting in lines for some time, or they were simply time-consuming tasks. Did he realize how long it took you to do the things he'd asked you to do? No, I don't think so. He never did. He was so demanding, I couldn't stand it anymore. And he never appreciated hard work. I couldn't keep my mouth shut. I had to tell him. Did you try talking to him about it? I know I should have discussed it with him sooner, but I didn't. I wasn't the only one who felt this way, so I told him. I told him that we all did our best to please him, and he never had a kind word for anyone. That he was the boss and had the right to expect us to perform well, but not the right to make us feel worthless. That he should have given credit where credit was due. He should have commented on a job well done. He should have been more understanding with people. Then I resigned. Well, I think you did the right thing. If I had been in your place, I would have done the same. Are you sorry about resigning? Yes, I shouldn't have left. I spent most of my working life there. I don't know if I'll be able to find another job. Call 2. Our second listener is Saeed. Tell us, what regrets do you have about your behavior at work? I love what I do. I am a designer, and I have worked in advertising for the last seven years. But when I am under pressure, I can be very irritable and abrupt with people. I know it's not right, but I can't help it. So I manage to upset people that I respect and like working with. In general, I make life difficult for anyone who comes close. If you realize all this, why didn't you talk to people? Why didn't you try to apologize or to explain? I should have spoken to them, I know, but I felt so embarrassed every time it happened, and they looked so fed up with me, I just gave up. I would still like to make up for all this. That shouldn't be a problem. How about going over and talking to everyone? Well, actually, that's not possible. You see, I was fired. Oh. I could have traveled. He should have studied harder. He would have been really happy. One, if I'd studied harder, I would have passed that test. Two, I should have said what I thought about her hairstyle, but I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Three, I should have bought that thing last year. Now prices have gone up. 4. If I had been more careful, I would have avoided the accident. 5. I should have told the security guard that I saw someone breaking the lock. 6. If I'd known the trip was going to take so long, I would have taken another route. 7. Other afterthoughts? So do you have any regrets about things in your life? You mean things I should or shouldn't have done? Yeah, I guess there are a few. How about you? I wish I had done things differently. I missed some good opportunities because I was too immature. I should have listened to my parents. They wanted me to go to college and I actually had the grades. But I wanted to get a job and go out into the world. Well, you did very well for yourself. You have your own business, and you don't have a boss breathing down your neck. But I have lots of responsibilities. I wish I'd taken a course in business management. Now I have to employ someone to do the work I could be doing. Well, it's never too late. You can still go back to school. As for me, I got my master's degree, and I had my mind set on a career. But then I got married and had children. So you had to choose between the job and family? No, I work hard, and I am able to take care of my family.
Mario's Advice Column Dear Mario, I am writing to tell you a story. It's too late for you to tell me what to do now, but maybe you could tell me what I should have done. Your advice might be useful to others in similar situations. My best friend borrowed some money from me when we were out shopping at the mall two weeks ago. I was happy to let him have it, as I had saved my allowance over a few weeks and had more than I needed. He wanted to buy a DVD. Then later, I loaned him some more money because we decided to eat at a pizza restaurant. The total, including the DVD, came to $25. I don't mind helping out a friend if I can, so I didn't think much of it. Last week, we were at the mall, and I needed to buy some shoes. They were rather expensive, and I asked him if he could give me some of the money I had loaned him. He gave me a very funny look, threw a $20 bill at me, and walked away. I was really upset, so I decided to call him when I got back. He told me that he never wanted to have anything to do with me again. He said I had embarrassed him at the shop and that I shouldn't have asked him for the money in public. He thought I had done it on purpose because I didn't trust him. I am really devastated. I've lost my best friend over $25. What do you think I should have done? Should I have just not said anything? Would that have been the right thing to do? A confused friend. Mario's Advice Column Dear Mario, I'm a limo driver, and people leave all kinds of things in my limousine. Scarves, packages, and even shoes. Last Saturday night, I picked up this wealthy man at his hotel and drove him to a prestigious charity award ceremony. The man must have been a millionaire, judging by the way he was dressed. The next day, when I was cleaning the inside of the car, I noticed something shining. The man's gold and diamond pocket watch must have fallen out of his pocket, and it slipped behind the seat. So I called the hotel where the man was staying, explained what had happened, and arranged to return the watch. The man was extremely grateful. He told me that it was a valuable family heirloom given to him by his grandfather, and he went on to praise my honesty. Then he opened his wallet, took out a $10 bill, and gave it to me. I refused, but he insisted. Ten bucks! Can you believe it? I should have kept the watch. Since then, I've been thinking of what I could have done with the money. I could have bought my own limousine or started my own business. Did I do the right thing? Honest, but wondering why. Ask Miriam. Friendship is more important. Dear Sabah, I am sorry you feel so sad about falling out with your best friend. I understand that she wanted to borrow your new bag before you had the chance to use it yourself. But, as you say, she was invited to a wedding and she could not buy a new bag. I understand that it is difficult, maybe even unfair, to let someone else use something that you have just bought or been given. But surely, friendship is more important, even if it requires some sacrifices. So I am afraid I will agree with what you think. You should have let her borrow the bag. She would have been happy and grateful to you, and you would still be on good terms with your friend. You say you do not like sharing your things with people because they might damage them. You could have asked her to be careful with your bag. The point is, however, to put things into perspective. What is more valuable to you, your friend or your new bag? I would call and say I am sorry. I am sure she will understand, and if she has not already been to the wedding, offer her the bag you will both be happier. I hope it all works out. Miriam